Hi guys, this is Tim from Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. Uh, thought I, I went out and bought a new tree stand and as I started to put this together, obviously there were a few items where the instructions weren't just crystal clear on, on where to put things. So what I thought I'd do is, is kind of mid-install, I decided to take a step back and do kind of an unboxing. So first off I bought uh, the Mac Daddy 22 foot tree stand by uh, Primal Tree Stands. A um, couple things that attracted to me is, is the 22 feet. I always love trying to get up up higher in a tree when I can, and uh, but I also want to be safe. And the one thing that really attracted to me was is it's got a jaw system that really starts to lock lock around that tree. And uh, the other piece, the other piece that attracted to me is, is it's got this little padded seat. And so it looks to be really safe and secure, but also comfortable. So stay tuned as we go through and I start to take you through not only this unboxing, but more of an install. So if you guys have any questions, you'll be able to refer to this video and see what I did. So as part of this unboxing, what you can start to see is, is it comes with quite a bit of stuff. It comes with a full, a full harness. It's got armrests. It's got a gun rest, padded seat. The padded seat seems to be seems to be pretty soft. Uh, the key thing I wonder is, is will I be able to take this off during the off season so it doesn't rot, you know? And then then your stand becomes pretty much worthless. Uh, so more to come on that. It's got the support straps, got the clips, bunch of cables, and then like as I said, I'm starting. I'm in the middle of uh, assembly, so. You see I've got a couple of wrenches that I've been using and then um, I gently use the hammer to nudge it in the direction I want it to go. So, yeah. so I've got a couple of things here to show you. So we've got this back bracket here. But then you've got these jaws that they have you assemble first. And on the left hand side they're not the same. I still haven't figured out why they're not the same but that'll become clear to me the further I get on. But what you start to see is this one on the left, even though it says it's on the right, because I've got this, I've got this somewhat upside down. This is the right side, is a little bit different than the one on the, the one on the other side. So you put those in, and it's as you look at this side, you start to see this is the how you assemble. It's going to be really quiet. It's got nylon bushings in between everything. So really like that that's the one thing i've been really impressed with as well is it's got nylon bushings all the way through and then as you see in this back bracket and we start to assemble this back brace there's three holes here and the directions don't tell you exactly where to put that but i'm pretty sure that's where this belongs so i'll tighten that up a little later but uh that's where where you put that and then you come back down here and you assemble your footrest. And the nice thing about that is, is you have a plastic bushing here, and then you have two bushings. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get that in there. You have two bushings right here and here. So when you're moving this back and forth, when you're getting in the stand, it's gonna be super quiet. So again, really like the fact that we've got all these bushings. I don't know much you guys climb up in that tree stand and you hear all that, all that bracket as you climb up it and that can't help your chances. So I'm in the process of assembling the seat and one little thing I'd like to mention is, is so you're basically going to use these sleeves that have been sewn into the back of the chair over the backrest and to get the first one on it's pretty easy second one's a little snug so you're going to want to use a, a flathead screwdriver just to kind of until that gets stretched out so you can slip that over that over that post so just a little friendly tip there so we're progressing right along we've we're assembling the seat for the Mac Daddy and you can see I've got the sleeves on here pretty good now what I've done is I've assembled using these nylon bushings and the fat one in the middle and but you're seeing we've got metal bushings on every side and now once we have those metal those nylon bushings in between each of those posts we can recline that chair back up and it'll be super duper quiet so so a couple things I just finished uh, putting the armrest on 
and what you'll see is is with these with these bushings you've got the bushings right here you want to get them nice and snug and we can rotate this back up as you can see when you're climbing into the stand uh, really slick little learning uh, that I had as I was putting this together as you go to put these pads on before you assemble I would put these pads on first reason is you can just slide them on you can just slide them on but if you don't you've got to take that sleeve off right there put this on and then rewrap wrap wrap the sleeve on it so just better to do it ahead of time and you can just slide it right over the right over the pipe the last thing I installed are these crossbars or support bars underneath the underneath the foot stand pretty easy to do you can just follow the the same steps that we've been doing putting a nylon washer on the outside and on the and on the very inside before you put the nut on um, other than that that's the base assembly and I would tell you I've put together more difficult tree stands than this well this concludes our base assembly of the Mac Daddy 22 uh, a couple things that I thought I, I would throw in here were that uh, pretty easy to assemble. I bought this stand at Dunham Sporting Goods. Um, I think it was on sale. They had it for $189 and I signed up for uh, an account and I think I got it down to roughly $165. Bucks. Pretty good deal. Um, another thing that I noticed on, on this stand is, is it has a coating on it that uh, not so important here but on the steps etc almost abrasive when you walk on so I'm thinking you know hey if it's wet out etc frost it's gonna be a little more you'll have a little more grip with your boots um, what else gosh here's one other thing oh the other thing is is uh, all the nuts and bolts on here are hardened with lock nut washers which are very important to me because uh, usually if I bought stands in the past I've had to put my own lock nuts on here so um, Overall, really good stand. I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully it helps you in putting together your stand. Until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.